Yeah, it's again, you, you have to know yourself very well. And I think that takes a little bit of practice um, because it's, you know, we all want to be a part of something and, you know, feel like we belong somewhere or a part of a community. And so when, when I'm competing, then yes, we, it's a lot of the same people. So then you, you know, you get to know each other and um, there can be that social aspect. But I think knowing yourself and for me, what helps me is to p picture how I want to feel, you know, the next day with the decisions that I've made. And so I, I know from past experience that maybe if I spend that extra hour socializing, maybe I didn't get that downtime that I know is important for me to wind down and relax and meditate. Um, so I think it's just envisioning how you want to feel with the decisions you made uh, the next day and, you know, feeling like I gave myself that downtime and that meditation and you know, time to just kind of relax and, and have me time. Um, I know that helps me to be more calm for the competition in the next day. So, so just building on that, on that feeling, you kind of start to get more momentum on that and, um, and you build on it. And, and, you know, it's not that the same thing works 100% of the time, maybe there's a day where you're like, oh, I need to, you know, talk to a friend or kind of disconnect. And so, you, so that's why you have to be very in tune with yourself and, and know yourself as well as you can so that you know what you need in each moment. Yeah. Are there any, is there anything that you can share about how you got to know yourself to this level? where you can do these things. Not that it's ever perfect for any of us because mm -hmm. so far I haven't found anyone that I've come across and all the people I've talked to that don't still say that there's more that they'd like to know about themselves. Oh, so yeah. I'm not seeking perfection, but is there something that you could share about how you got to this stage where you can do the things that you do? And mm -hmm. Um, yes, and I, I think it's so true. It's we're all in this journey, and it's you're always discovering more about yourself. And and for me, that's part of why I love golf so much because you never reach perfection. It's like you always have. It, there's so many areas to the game that you can always improve a little bit, and one of them, and it just makes it a lot of fun and, and challenging. Um, but I'd say that the way that I got to know myself better and and some of my friends ask me is I I do a lot of things on my own um, and I I think growing up you know I was always part of the the national team or you know then in college um, the university team and you're always part of something. And then when I turn pro, you're kind of on your own. And and I started having this, this need to just kind of explore just more what it meant to be on my own. So I started getting interested in hiking and, um, and just doing little things like, oh, I want to go to this concert. And, you know, I reached out to all my friends and last minute no one could go and then you're like you have two choices you miss the concert you really wanted to go or you go on your own <laughs> and have a good time so it's like little things like that so then i went to the concert and then i you know made friends there and had a great time and then it's like oh i want to see this movie no one wants to go okay i'll go by myself and you know i i saw a quote from sorry uh from leonardo dicaprio that said, if, if you can sit at a restaurant by yourself, sit at a movie by yourself, then you are gaining more than you realize. Um, and then I took it to another level where I started doing trips on my own. Uh, there was even a trip that I was really looking forward to and someone asked me like, hey, can I come along? And I was like, 
Uh, I like you a lot, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, but no. Thank Love you, you but no. <laughs> but because it was, I was seeing it more as a trip to get to know myself more. And I think the the more you can be comfortable with who you are and you know the the things that you like, the things that work for you, the things that align you, then the better tools you have. Um, in your profession or in your life in general. So for me, it's been a journey of doing a lot of things on my own and really listening and trying to tune into that intuition um, to see like, oh, I want to go here. And, and all the time we're making decisions. And, you know, that's one of the big powers we have is that choice to say, I want to go here, I want to do this. Um, And, and the more time you spend exploring that um, without the opinions of more people or what, without doing what you think you should do, then the more you can tune into that intuition. <laughs>